video is titled how to protect your teeth and just a quick note what I say here is said in general terms only and if you have specific questions about your unique dental health situation be sure to ask your doctor or preferably your periodontist about those questions. Hello this is Dave with ToothyGrinStore.com and the topic of today's video is how to protect your teeth. Many people when they think about protecting their teeth may think primarily about cavities and while that is a threat it's not nearly as big a threat as the number one cause of tooth loss which happens to be gum disease. Gum disease is the number one cause of tooth loss you can ask any dental professional and they will also tell you if you ask them that three out of every four people or approximately 75 percent of people have some gum disease in their mouth right now the problem is most people don't know they have it and they may not know until they have one or more loose teeth and at that point it is more difficult as the disease progresses it causes the loss of teeth so I wrote and I actually wrote two books about this topic um, one is called what you should know about gum disease and the other is how to stop gum disease in four easy steps and you can find both of those at uh, toothygrinstore.com or if you type how to stop gum disease dot com into your browser you'll you'll find that book as well so when we talk about saving our teeth or how to protect our teeth what we are should primarily be concerned about in light of the things I just mentioned is gum disease and rather than uh, cavities although um, certainly we want to protect our teeth against those as well and I do talk about that in my book what you should know about gum disease um, the key point about protecting our teeth against gum disease or with gum disease is a measurement called the periodontal pocket depths and any dentist or hygienist will be glad to take these for you if you ask them and it's a measurement of how snugly the tissue adheres to the tooth and as the measurements get bigger then you're developing bigger pockets between uh, the gum and the tooth and that is generally when you get to four millimeters on those pockets and above generally speaking most dental practitioners are going to say that's unhealthy at that point but conversely if you can keep those at three millimeters and below then most dental professionals are going to say that you are more healthy or your gums are more healthy at that point so if you're able to keep them at three millimeters and below you're able to prevent the bacteria from uh, creating enough damage to actually start to dissolve that tissue around the tooth which is what they can do therefore when we talk about protecting our teeth we want to think about keeping those periodontal pockets down to three millimeters or below and one of the most useful tools I have found to do that is this Hydrofloss Oral Irrigator, which we have at ToothyGrinStore.com. I was able to, personally, I was uh, told that I needed a scaling and root planing treatment. And that is, approximate cost on that is about $1,600 or so. dollars, And they, they dig underneath your gum line to scrape up, build up plaque and tartar. Well, I didn't really like the sounds of that type of treatment, so I did my best to find a way, and what I eventually came up with was the Hydrofloss, and after using it for several months, I went back to my dentist, and she told me that my gums were looking healthy, and that I didn't need that treatment that she had previously recommended, and she told me that whatever I was doing, I should keep it up. And that's my personal story, and I've probably talked to hundreds of customers by now about the hydrofloss and I found that many of them have similar experiences so when we address protecting our teeth this is one of the main things I wanted to make you aware of you can also read the book what you should know about gum disease to get some more helpful information as well as how to stop gum disease in four easy steps so this is Dave the video was about how to protect your teeth Again, everything I said here was simply stated in very general terms. If you have a specific question about your unique dental health situation, please do contact your dentist or 
periodontist to get the answers to those questions. This all that was said here was said in general terms. And I want to thank you for watching. Uh, this is Dave with ToothyGrinStore.com. You can find us there at ToothyGrinStore.com. And if you have questions, we have a phone number here that you can call us at. Take care and have a great evening or day, whichever the case may be. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Dental health professionals tell us that gum disease is the